Yesterday I shared with you a thought about the sinner's alabaster box from Luke 7. Today I'd like to share with you a thought from Matthew 25, 26, Mark 14, and John 12, where we talk about the saint's alabaster box. I'd like to, the, today I'd like to give you a little history about the alabaster box. Alabaster was a stone commonly found in Israel. It was a hard stone resembling white marble and is referred to as one of the precious stones used in the decoration of Solomon's temple in 1 Chronicles 29.2. In Song of Songs, the beloved man is described as having legs like alabaster columns and pillars of mar marble. So the container the two, two women used to carry the perfume oil was made of white marble-like substance. Ointments, oils, and perfumes uh, were put in these vessels made of alabaster, which kept them pure and unspoiled. The boxes were often sealed or made, made fast with wax to prevent the perfume from escaping. When Mary of Bethany, the sister of Martha and Lazarus, went, uh, came to Jesus at the home of Simon the leper, the, just days before his death, to anoint his body, body for, the de for, for death, um, she broke open that... Um, that alabaster box and the fragrance of the perfume filled the room John 12 3 <clears throat> so we see here the Saints alabaster box is that she believed God see at this just days before um, Jesus was gonna die he kept telling people he was gonna die but but we see here only Mary of Bethany really believed it because that's why she opened up that alabaster box and let the perfume go over his feet, you know, and anointed him, you know, anointed him for his burial. And I think I, my heart was touched when I read this and realized that Mary of Bethany, out of all the disciples, out of all the people, and we'll remember the story of Mary of Bethany as being somebody that was very devoted to God. She sat at Jesus' feet rather than being over serving in the kitchen. I don't relate as much to Mary of Bethany because I be honest with you ladies, I'm one of those people that I'd be busy in the kitchen getting ready for Jesus to come and resent other people for just sitting around. You know, I would be Martha. I, I definitely would have been one if I if I'm not careful. I have to really work at that. But I'm just saying here, I I admire the the devotion and the faith of Mary of Bethany because she saw what Jesus was saying she believed it by faith now I have to do this on a regular basis I I have to say you know what God's gonna do this God's gonna help me with this he's gonna make this happen are you are you um, are you feeling rushed today are you feeling like life is impossible you can't get everything done that you need to get done with God's help and great planning, specific planning, it can happen for you. Uh, are you having a troubled time right now? Uh, do you need faith to believe that God's going to heal somebody in your life? I have a dear friend that her husband has uh, a bad, bad cancer, and I'm praying every day for healing for him. I'm trying to believe and have faith that it's going to happen. I have another friend that who's... Um, going through a big change in her life her husband's wanting to make a big major move in their life and she's not sure about it. And i'm just praying for her to have the faith in god to believe her husband so there's lots of people that i know that need faith and we need to have the faith that mary of bethany had when she opened that alabaster box and anointed jesus because she believed him and you, to, dear friend, need to believe God today, knowing that he's going to take care of whatever situation that you're in and you need your help, his help with. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice.